I'm Rolene Marks. This is the Israel Brief, where we take a look at those top stories making headlines every Monday to Thursday, and we do it with the help of Lay of the Land. Now, stay tuned to find out where you can find us online. But before we get into our weekend mode, let's take a look at those top stories. And we begin with news that the Palestinian Islamic Jihad commander, Bassem al Sadi, who was arrested earlier this month during counter terror operations in the West Bank town of Jenin, has been indicted on charges of terrorism in a military court. The arrest of uh, al Sadi is believed to have sparked the conflagration nearly three weeks ago known as Operation Breaking Dawn. And this was in response to intelligence that Israeli security forces had received about Palestinian Islamic Jihad plans to launch attacks on Israeli citizens. Now, one of the demands made by PRJ to the Egyptian moderators of the ceasefire, which is still holding, is that he is released. However, it was made public that he will be kept in custody until Sunday. We don't have any information further than that. Meanwhile, earlier yesterday, Palestinian Islamic Jihad paraded replicas of their rockets through the streets of Gaza to flower-bearing Gazan residents. In other news, a suspect has been arrested following the brutal murder of a young woman in her 20s. Her body was found close to the Israeli city of Rehovot in the early hours of this morning. She was stabbed multiple times. The suspect in his 20s is believed to be a resident of Batyam. This is a suburb in the south of Tel Aviv. He has been taken into custody and will be taken to the Shalom Court of Justice tomorrow. The identity of the victim has not been made public. And say it isn't so popular duo Static and Ben El Tavori announced earlier today that after seven years together, they are going their separate ways. This comes amidst of a whole lot of uh, growing scandals, which are, is at the heart of the popular duo. Now, they released a joint statement on their social media because, of course, where else do you release joint statements saying that after seven years together, it is time to go their separate ways, that the Static and Ben El Tavori project has changed their lives and that they will continue to love and support each other in whatever they do. Now, it's a bit unclear where the split will leave their 10-year recording contract with Columbia Records. And we end, of course, as we always do, on a heartwarming note, and that is our very own Wonder Woman. Not just because she plays Wonder Woman, but because she really is a Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot, who is in Israel with her family, her husband and three daughters, where she has been for, for quite a while, for the summer, yesterday paid a visit of solidarity to the residents of Kibbutz Nativa Sara, which is literally on the border with Gaza and uh, she was of course greeted by elated residents and absolutely ecstatic children. Gal was also in Tel Aviv earlier this month when rockets and, and sirens rained throughout most of the country and was pictured taking shelter in a public shelter on Rothschild Avenue uh, as sirens ran around Tel Aviv. So what can we say? We love our girl Gal. She is a true Israeli queen who hasn't forgotten her roots. And it's uh, at a time when we have continued onslaught of attacks from people like the Hadid sisters and Mark Ruffalo and Susan Sarandon. It's great to know that our Wonder Woman still is strong in her roots and is making these kinds of statements. So that brings us to the end of today's broadcast. Don't forget to check out our website at www.layoftheland.online. We have an article up there in tribute to a really phenomenal man, Jonathan Danilovitz, passed away 
just a couple of weeks ago. He was a pioneer in LGBTQ plus rights here in Israel. Read our tribute to him. It's also up on our Facebook page. If you are visiting us on, page, on Facebook, please consider liking us, following us and sharing our content. Our YouTube channel is The Israel Brief. Please consider subscribing by clicking on the big red button, sharing and liking our content. And of course, we're on Twitter at Lay of the Land 5. Now, all that remains is for me to wish you all a wonderful, a safe, a peaceful and a healthy weekend wherever you are. Shabbat Shalom. And don't forget to join me next week, Monday and Tuesday from Basel, Switzerland for the World Zionist Congress's 125th anniversary. Ooh, all those Zionists in one place. That's sure to annoy a few people. Can't wait. We'll be coming to you from there. So until then, take care. Shabbat Shalom. I'm Rolene Marks and this was the Israel Brief.